Now this is the type of cut that you're going to come up against a lot on a hardwood flooring job. It's a simple L cut. You can see that the next piece needs to go right there. But these studs are in the way. And you've got this long strip there. So how do you mark and cut this piece? Well first, you cut the board the length. Then you press it all the way down. And you make your first mark right here at this side of the wall. And then you bring it back to here. Be sure that your edges are, are flush there, nice and tight. And then you mark this side of the wall. And what you're going to be left with is a notch out. So you can mark it there. I'm just going to use my finger as a rail. Take it all the way down. Bring that piece down straight and then cut that out on table saw. Now that we've got our piece mark, we're going to bring it over to the table saw. Make sure the blade is set just slightly higher than your piece of wood. You don't want too much blade sticking out or you can cut your fingers off. So just enough blade sticking out in case there's an accident. Now what you want to do is run your blade just on the keep side of the wood so that you're cutting in one eighth of an inch, which is the thickness of the blade, one eighth of an inch expansion joint all the way around. That way you'll get a nice tight fit the first time, but you're not actually touching the wall, which you'll want to kind of avoid so the flooring can expand and contract seasonally. All right, so let's cut this piece. As you can see, we've got our L piece, and that should fit into place nice and neatly. Let's go see if it fits. All right, so here we are back at our cut. We're just going to take our L piece in, and you're going to want to put it in at the angle because we kept our groove intact. So down here on this end, you're going to have to angle it up a little bit and just kind of snap it into place. Excellent fit. Perfect. Nail it down and you're good to go. You want to have a pry bar handy and your face nailer so you can pry this piece into place so you get a nice tight joint and then nail it along that edge. Now for this part, which is wide open, we could use the face nail, but the face nailer is not as durable. It doesn't hold the wood down as hard as the stapler. So we're quickly going to switch to the stapler and put in a few right here as well. So this is a Bosset floor stapler. It uses staples instead of nails. And this is what you want to nail on everything in the field with. Because it's double tough. So there you have it. One L piece. Cut and installed. Do it that way every time. And your projects will move along very smoothly.